Hello everyone, today I am going to demonstrate gel permeation chromatography and its principle. Gel permeation chromatography is also known as size exclusion chromatography and as a technique it was first developed by Latteau and Rudben in 1955. This, is, this instrument is used to separate the components based on the difference in molecular weight or size. This gel permeation chromatography instrument is mainly used to determine the molecular weights of polymer as well as the distribution of molecular weight. There are two phases in a gel permeation chromatography instrument. One is stationary phase and the other is mobile phase. Gels are generally used as stationary phase and eluates such as tetrahydrofuran, dimethyl formamide are used as mobile phases. This is the separation mechanism of a gel permeation chromatography instrument where separation occurs by the use of porous beads packed in a column as shown in the diagram. All columns have a range of molecular weights that can be separated. Uh, this is a gel permeation chromatography instrument in our laboratory of model Azilant 1 to 6 0 infinity. From this instrument, we can determine the molecular weight of a polymer. After running the sample in this instrument, we get this type of chromatogram plot from where we can determine the molecular weight, where x-axis represents the retention time and y-axis represents the peak unit. Analytes with larger size which elute first and so we get their peak first and then we will get the peak of smaller analytes. And like this we can determine the molecular weights of polymers. PPC or gel permeation chromatography or size exclusion chromatography is used to determine the molecular weight of a polymer. This instrument works mainly on the principle of the separation through columns which are fitted in it depending on the size of the polymer. Our instrument GPC is uh, as an ethylene made GPC of 1 to 6 to infinity to modern equipment. To determine the molecular weight for this equipment, we need to prepare a solution of the polymer. For that, we need to dissolve any known or unknown sample in their respective solvent, like this type of solutions. We have taken the sample in this syringe and now we are going to insert this this in general. The pump of the equipment pulls this sample from the different columns attached to the size. Same solvent is used as element like this. After separation, all the fragments passes through different uh, detectors like uh, uh, refractive index detector, uh, UV detectors, etc. And these detectors then detect them in different peaks based on the previous fragmentation of uh, polymers present in sample. The solution we get different peaks. And these uh, peaks are then plotted against the standard. Uh, to give them regular view of the polymer. After completion of the runtime, we get a uh, peak uh, again, which are plotted against the standard. The standard is generated again as uh, polystyrene. And uh, from these peaks, we can determine our molecular weight. Thank you.